So I misunderstood. Do I? We're good. <laughs> okay. Good morning and welcome to the uh, June uh, meeting of the Finance Committee. Um, it's uh, out of an abundance of caution. We've decided to have this meeting to just briefly discuss and go over the uh, the new money component part of the Montefiore offering. So without further ado, I'll defer to me Neil. doing that. Neil? Gerard. 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 Okay. Good morning. Um, the Montefiore Obligated Group Credit Summary Update provided to the members presents a tax exempt and or taxable fixed and or variable rate series 2018 bond financing in an amount not to exceed 988 million with a final maturity of 30 years through a public offering and or a private placement. This is a net increase of 348 million from the approval received in December uh, 13, 2017. The transaction has increased since the resolution to proceed was secured in December. At that time, the Montefiore Obligator Group was seeking an approval to advance refund bonds and restructure their, over, restructure their overall debt service. The tax legislation proposed to be effective January 1, 2018 was an obstacle to this plan. As you are aware, the tax legislation went through and the advance refunding of tax exempt debt is no longer allowed. The Montefiore Obligated Group returned to DASNY with a more comprehensive financing plan. The plan still includes the exiting the FHA program and the restructuring of their debt to create overall system-wide level debt service. The health system will also secure their own underlying rating, which will allow for a more competitive capital cost of capital. The restructuring includes the extension of debt and the deferral of principal to address useful life remaining on their assets. This plan will create level debt service for the health system as a result of the distribution of the currently front-loaded debt service over time. So the substantial increase in the $400 million new money component will allow for the reimbursement of capital expenses incurred by Montefiore Medical Center. This will bring additional liquidity to the medical center and increase the day's cash on hand. The proposed restructuring plan has been reviewed by Bond Council as well as the Department of Health, who has issued their letter authorizing the plan. An update to recent information on the resolution proceeds since December 13 as a secret filing was completed on June 18. Uh, PACB approval is anticipated today, and the TEFRA hearing is to be held on June 28. Chairman. Thank you very much, Gerard. And I, I just note that the Department of Health has issued a memo June 19th um, recommending the adoption of this uh, this transaction, including the new money component. Um, Neil, would you or, uh, or Andy take a second and just explain the new money component of the deal? Yeah. Um, the, essentially, Montefiore would like to reimburse itself for capital expended or for expenditures that it has spent over the last few years um, and generally what we will be doing over the next few weeks between now and the time of pricing is go through their list of expenditures to become comfortable that each of the expenditures that they would like to be reimbursed for um, qualify as a capital expenditure that we could finance under the uh, DAX name the statute. Okay. Um, so that's really the process that we'll be walking through with them and we'll try to finance as, as much as we can consistent with the statute. And I, and I do note for the record that there was reference to a potential uh, new money transaction component in the original December um, order. Well, well, actually it was done in May. Uh, well, I whatever, think whatever was, it was after the <coughs> presentation. Right. Correct. I think. Correct. Okay. okay. All right. Look, another point. But thank you. Um, any other questions or, or concerns? Here, from health, thank you very much for health for that very informative memo. Appreciate it. Um, for, hearing... for the record, let me say one thing. I, uh, Tracy's um, uh, staff's memorandum. Uh, well, first of all, uh, Portia provided uh, me with substantial help in, in, in your writing of, of yesterday that I got yesterday, and then Tracy supplemented that. And I'm, this is for the record. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your your work, the Department of Health's work, in, in sort of clarifying the transaction. It was very very helpful to me. Sure, sure. Uh, you know, just for the record, the department, you know, as stated in the memo, supports this financing. It, it does help assist Montefiore in, in uh, implementing its strategic plan, which we've been working with them on. Yeah. Montefiore is an important client of, of DASD. We reiterate that. Right, and thank you, for Portia, for advancing with this somewhat complicated uh, uh, transaction. But hearing any, uh, anything else, Deb, do I? Just do you need the vote? Okay, so uh, hearing no other uh, concerns, can I get a motion to recommend approval at the full board in about two and a half minutes? So moved. So moved. Second. All in favor, aye. Any opposed, none.